That's really the rest of the garden. I've got some tomatoes planted. Of course, you can see that the the um, this plant isn't doing very well, but it's full of, of green tomatoes, but I'm not sure why it is doing like this. Sometimes the roots, I know that the roots don't really like to be in water, um, so that could possibly be it, but it's a learning curve when you grow stuff. This pepper plant is doing okay, so I'm gonna leave it alone. More mint, more kale, two pepper plants. This is thyme. I got thyme here as well. And um, this is a lime tree that I brought in here in a bucket. And there's the cat, like wondering why I'm disturbing its sleep. And I've got some strawberry plants. Again, another pepper plant. And I planted some pea trees in here. Um, and they act as a good wind barrier because it was it used to be very windy in here but now it's not very windy and i think that's about it oh i just wanted to mention the ground cover you should always have some sort of ground cover so that the the earth isn't exposed to the elements and i found that uh, potato sweet potato is such a wonderful natural ground cover of course i use the leaves as well and the cut grass but you should put down the cut grass only when it's dry okay um but i think that's about it is there anything else no i think that's it so yeah that was just a brief one two um of my kitchen garden and um yeah show me yours let me see what you've been doing in your garden